going to be doing a requested video by Queen Sol, and she requested for me to for me to do an updated my like top 10 Android apps from you know the Android market. If you guys have an Android, and I thought that was a pretty good idea because I. That's one of my most popular videos, like that Android video. I didn't think it would like, you know, get a lot of like views, and most surprisingly it did. So I was really happy about that. And I always get a lot of questions, you know, like about it, you know, to make another video about it and stuff like that. And so I thought that was pretty cool. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Okay, so like I had last time in my last video. Oh, by the way, if you guys want to check out, you know, that video I did a while back ago, I'll have it linked somewhere on the video. Those apps are still my faves. I still use them like till now. So you can kind of say like all together is like kind of like my top 20 apps, and this is like the part two, like the other 10. So again, I have them all listed. I don't have a stage for them, like I said last time. Like I'm just gonna tell you straight off the bat, you know what I actually think about it. But they're not in any order. I just, you know, put them just like however. The first one is Advanced Task Killer. Now, being an Android user, you guys would definitely know that your battery drains like super quick. Like. You don't even have to be like using it 24-7, but like as long as you like have it on, like the battery like wastes super duper quick. And when I get to work, I only work like what, four or five hours at work. And during those four or five hours, if I have it on, by the time like the store closes and I check my phone, it's almost like about to die. So I always turn off my phone at work. But the main point of advanced task killer is for you know to kill all of the apps that are running in the background that's the main reason why your battery drains because of all the apps that are running you might think they're not running but they are so advanced taskular is definitely going to you know kill all of the apps and make sure your battery you know is 100 percent now it really doesn't make like a huge difference like you know your battery like is like 100 percent like the whole day but it definitely does you know help out a little bit so yeah. Okay, number two. Um, my second app is the ADW theme for Ms. Droid Pretty Pink. Now this is not really actually an app, it's more as a like a you know a theme. If you guys go back to my old video, I guys I guys I said that ADW is like an awesome, you know, home replacement and this is one of the themes that you know I really really enjoy. So I really like it and it's like super pink. It's like it's like super girly. So if any of my girls on here have an Android and you guys downloaded that app ADW, I definitely recommend you guys to get that theme. It is gorgeous. Like it's just amazing. So that's number two. Number three is another not an app, but as a, a live wallpaper. Again, for my girls out there who are in love with the color pink. Um, this is a really beautiful, you know, pink um, live wallpaper with like flowers like falling down. It just reminds me of fall even though, you know, they're not technically fall colors, but they're still leaves, like flowers, you know, I don't know. But it's just really beautiful. So I recommend that wallpaper if you guys, if your phone, you know, what's the word, um, supports live wallpaper. There you go. Okay, number four. This one is an app. It's called, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I'm going to say Tikal or Tickle or I don't know. But it's T-I-K-L. Now that app is amazing. Like me and my boyfriend literally like go on a trip with that. It's kind of like if you guys are familiar with the Nextel, you know, Boost radio phones. You know how you always press like the side of your phone and be like, you're like, hey, what's up, man? And then like you let go. Or where you at? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with that. But you know that app is kind of similar. Like you, you can only use it with another person who has the same app. Um, which my boyfriend luckily has an Android as well, and we both have an app, so we we're always joking around with that. So I mean, it's a really pretty cool app if you don't want to waste minutes, or if you're actually like on a tight budget. And you actually have a plan of like, I don't know, 400, 450 minutes or, you know, something that's really low. 
and you're about to go over, you know, you can use that and it's like awesome. So, yeah. Number five is call confirm. Like, I'm pretty sure most of you guys already heard my story that I had my phone in my pocket and I was like singing my lungs out and then I took out my phone to see what time it was and I noticed that, you know, my, my phone was like actually like, you know, on the line with one of my friends and like she was hearing me sing and I was like super embarrassed. So I got that app call confirm and basically what it does is just like if you dial someone by accident, like it actually gives you a little confirmation page saying do you really want to dial, you know, blah 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 and you just put call and it like dials. Cause usually my phone if you dial it, it like it just goes straight up like dialing the number. So I really like that and it's really really helped me out like you know I don't know, it just helps you out from those embarrassing moments or just like accidentally calling someone. So I really like that one. Um, number six, tweet deck. If you are a Twitter, Facebook, you know, junkie and you guys are always on it or you guys are always updating your status, like on my phone, the Samsung Vibrant, I used to update my status from the one of the little like apps that came in here, I think it's called Notepad or Memo or something like that. And you can link like your MySpace, your Twitter, stuff like that on there. But I mean, I I used to use it for a while until I found TweetDeck. And TweetDeck is like awesome. Like all you do is just write your status and then just put the little check mark on the Twitter and Facebook and it posts the status like straight to both of those websites which is like amazing I love it that's the only reason why I use it and I actually have it on my phone like on the home page so you guys can see it oh well, so I can see it so that's number six number seven is called for shared now I told you guys in my last video that that's the website or that I was going to teach you guys how to download like free apps for your phone but I never did so I'm really sorry so I might show you at the end of the video but that's one of the apps that, you, that I use to, you know, download the free apps. So that's definitely like a must. You guys have to get it. Number eight is Smart Places Check-in. Like, if you guys are probably familiar, on Facebook you see it, and also on Twitter, like, you get to post your location. Like, let's say I'm going out with my boyfriend and I want to let everyone know where I am at. So I'm like, you, you go in there and you put, you know, where you're at. Like you can tag your friends whoever you're with and it automatically posts to your like Facebook or your Twitter or whatever and yeah because I know if I try and do that like through the actual website on Facebook through my phone it doesn't work like it takes forever to load so that's why I got it and it works pretty cool so yeah and then number nine is TuneIn Radio I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with that one, but that one is like an awesome app if you want to listen to the, you know, your local radio stations on your phone, and it's pretty cool because, I don't know, I've always wanted that, you know, kind of deal on my iPod, which they have the same app on the Apple market, which is pretty cool now, I can listen to it, you know, through my iPod, but whenever you're like, you know, I don't know, you just don't have a radio in your house or something, you can listen to it through your phone, which is amazing. And lastly, number 10, the infamous music app or whatever, Pandora. Um, I really wasn't a big fan of Pandora until recently. Um, since my phone came with Slacker Radio, um, I had like, you know, I, when I first got it, I just started using it and I kind of liked it. You know, you have different kind of genres to choose from, like rock, pop, you know, dance, hall, and all that stuff. So I, that's the main reason why I liked it. But when I went into Pandora, like my boyfriend is like a big Pandora junkie, like he's always talking about, oh Pandora this, Pandora that, he's always on Pandora and I'm like, okay, let's see what's the big deal, you know, about this Pandora stuff. So I tried it out and it kind of rewind, rewinds, <laughs> kind of reminds me of my Xbox um, Live, wait, Live, Last FM. Um, basically what you do is just type in an artist and it automatically makes a radio station you know kind of a um, similar kind of genre of music let's say I put Justin Bieber or something and it makes a radio station with the same genre of music that he makes so it's not always going to be Justin Bieber it's going to be like different artists so that's what I really like and like I said it reminds me of my Xbox um, radio station that it has there like I just do that like I put 
I, I like to listen to In Sync on Pandora, like the radio station, because it plays a bunch of like 90s music, which I'm like totally like in love with. I love listening to 90s music. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything, let me know down below. I would love to know, you know, if you guys have any questions. And if you guys want to see, you know, my top apps for the Android, I mean the Android, the Apple market, let me know and I will do that too as well. Um, but other than that, I'll see you guys in my next video and thanks for requesting, so bye.